guys, welcome back. It's been a hot minute since I last posted on here and today I'm refilming my summer clothing haul. I'm gonna show you all the things that I've had delivered ready for my holiday. Today is Thursday, um, I go on Monday and I've literally had so many deliveries. I think, I swear to God, the Hermes guy is sick of seeing me. <laughs> Um, so I'm just gonna go through I have sort of got everything I did pack a few a couple of weeks ago I sort of got everything together so I know what I'm taking what I've got although I've still ordered more stuff <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna run through it just show you guys sort of what I've got um, run through a few of the outfits and then I'm gonna put the um, a little picture of what each thing looks like on the websites. Most of this stuff is misguided, pretty little thing, boohoo. Um, and there's also quite a few bits from Primark as well. So they are all my favorite go-to shops. So yeah, I'm gonna get trying on and talk you through some of the outfits. Okay, so first of all, I'm just gonna run through some accessories. So first one, I bought this bag, super cute. It's like a little bum bag. It's got the proper bum bag straps. This is actually from Asda. I just thought it was so cute. I was shopping for bits for a photo shoot that I was doing and I needed a little bag where it looked like things were sort of falling out of it. Like sort of, I had like lip glosses and things that like falling out of it. And I saw this and I thought it was super cute and I thought, well, it'll really work for my holiday as well. So why not? Only a tenner. And yeah, it's a bum bag. So perfect for holiday. So then you've got all your stuff like just in front of you. Thought that was super cute. Um, I have just got a normal bum bag, like a normal black leather one as well. Um, I'll be taking that with me because that will go with like everything. But then if I wanted something a bit more fancy, then I can use this. I'm so into animal print at the minute, it's ridiculous. So I also got um, quite a few pairs of shoes, some sandals. Um, these ones I got from Primark, then I think I should have got like a wide fit version um, because they're not very wide. But these are just some of the really plain, simple little jelly sandals. They've got this sort of embellished, um, diamantes on them, a little bit of glitter sort of around the uh, line of the edge of the shoes. The only thing is, like I say, they're not really that wide. So I think they were like five pounds. Didn't bother trying them on because they were my size. But yeah, and obviously being Primark, the quality isn't great. So on this one, you can see where the diamonds are sort of straight down that toe post. But on this one, they sort of like, they're not glued straight. They sort of fall off. But I mean, it's Primark, so you kind of get what you pay for. <laughs> I also got, I saw these things on Instagram called Perky Pairs. Don't know if anyone's ever seen these before. Basically, it's like a massive plaster that you stick on your boob and hoik up. So if you're wearing anything that is really plunged and you want sort of a bit more lift, these look really good. And they work up to like a G cup or something silly. Like they work on the biggest boobs you have seen. So I got these in a size double DE, which is my usual size. But actually, I don't know if they're going to be a bit too big. I mean, they are huge. I will just get one out and show you. I mean, they've got to be big anyway because they've got to obviously cover like the whole boob and hoik it up. So it's got to obviously have that strength behind it. So I ordered these in black because I know I want to wear them with a black lace bodysuit that I will try on later on um, in the video. So you order them and you basically get two pairs, which is really good because they're like, I think they were 18 pounds, 17.99, but I got a little discount code as well. Um, they're always sort of floating around. If you sign up to their newsletter, you get them through the email quite a lot. So yeah, you get two of these. They are teardrop shaped, but they have a slight angled edge on one side. You can see that here. So it's slightly more angular and there is a pack of instructions. So you do get the instructions on how to use them. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that because the lighting is gonna be so terrible. So basically it shows you like how to put them on. What it does is if you're wearing something that's really plunged, it gives the illusion of them being sort of as they need to be, not down by your belly button. Um, so you can only use those once as well. So it's a one-time wear. So I haven't tried them on yet. Don't know how good they're gonna be, but they do look quite big. So I don't know if they're gonna show sort of outside of what I want to wear them with, but we can only try and we can hope. Yeah, and apparently as you get hotter, the glue gets stickier, which is always a bonus, because when you're in sweaty bars and clubs and stuff, and obviously you're on holiday, we don't want anything slipping off. Not ideal. So yeah, I will try those on holiday. You will probably see them on my Instagram, um, not just them, like in an outfit. 
Um, and hopefully they'll do the job. I know that lots of girls in the reviews that I've read wore them on their wedding day because if you've got like a backless wedding dress but you've got massive bazoomers that you just want to like, you know, you don't want to sort of down by your belly button. Um, and apparently they've worked really well and they've stayed on all day. So yeah, I'm excited to try those. I also thought about if I wanted to go out at night without a wig, which I'm a little bit scared about because I've not been around drunk people without a wig on, so anyway. I got some glitter. So I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna mix it with the hair gel that got to be that I used to stick the wig on. Mix the glitter in with that and just paint it on my head. I don't know whether I do some pretty pattern or, I don't know. We'll just see, but it's like a gold glitter. This is from Pretty Little Thing. This was about three pounds. So yeah, just in case I fancy glitzing up my little egghead a little bit. When you go on holiday, you have to have an airport outfit. I have no idea what to wear. Normally I would just go in sort of like a cotton jumpsuit type thing, like a really comfy loungewear one. So I didn't want to be too layered up. We are landing at eight o'clock at night there. So it's gonna be warm still, but it's usually quite sort of muggy. It's that hot. You know when you can't breathe, so I didn't want anything too covery uppy. Um, I'll probably take like a massive hoodie or a big cardi or something just for when I'm on the plane. But I will quickly put my outfit on for the airport and I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is the airport outfit. I've put some little shorts on with it. Just this really nice sort of baggy um, mesh t-shirt dress. Thought it was quite cute little cycling shorts and underneath it so I feel like I'm layered but not enough so that I'm gonna be like really really hot I take off the cycling shorts I can wear it sort of when I'm going out and about at night on the strip um, just with the high-waisted bikini bottoms underneath it's sort of long enough so that it covers but still a bit you know but yeah I thought this was really cute really nice and like cool um, I've never had anything like this before I also got this little seat belt belt to go with it it's sort of I don't know, it's just quite cute. Love the length of the sleeves because you feel like you're still covered up. And then just a normal bikini top underneath. So this top was from Boohoo. <laughs> so this top was from Boohoo, the bikini top I got last year in Cavos actually. Um, bikini bottoms were misguided and my cycling shorts were, I don't know, I cut the label out. Um, but yeah, all those things you can sort of get anywhere. Um, but I like the length of this actually because it is, sort of long enough so you can wear it out at night but it's not sort of too much um, with this belt you just sort of like make it as long or as tight as you want and then I just wrap it around but yeah I think I'll probably wear this um, on the plane don't know if I'll wear a bikini top or like some sort of cami I don't want to get like arrested or banned from my flight I know there was a girl in the news actually the other week that got banned because she was wearing like a crop top but it was like a bralette and she was told she wasn't allowed on a flight or something so don't want to do that I'm gonna run through sort of outfits first and then at the end I'll go more towards swimwear um, I've literally ordered so much swimwear I got a delivery from Shein yesterday of two bikinis um, not good <laughs> I have got a bikini from Shein, I will show you that later on. But yeah, Shein, there are some pieces in here, um, play suits that I'm keeping, I love them. I really think if you're skeptical about buying from Shein, I would definitely, definitely do it. Just make sure you check the reviews for each individual item and also the size guide as well varies from item to item. I tend to get sort of an extra large in most things, but I'm sort of like a 12, 14, 16, depending on what the item of clothing is. Um, and I would normally get an extra large in everything. The bikini that I will show you later is an extra large. The two that I got yesterday were a large and they were tiny. These cups, perfect. I swear to God, they were about this big. <laughs> So just make sure you check the size guides first and go with what you think is gonna fit, not what you want to fit, because it won't. <laughs> okay, so next outfit is this one. Um, these really, really, really cute little shorts are for a pretty little thing. Really nice and floaty. Um, also got this little crossover top. It's a bit weird, but it's just really nice basic. Um, it's got this sort of like t-shirt cut out. The shorts, sorry, are a really good length. Um, just covering the bum, but they sort of they twirl around. So yeah, I thought this was really cute. Yeah, not much really I can say about this, but these are so nice and cool. Yeah, cover up the tummy. Just, oh, I just love them. They're so comfy. I'm really sorry about this, but it's not a lot I can do. 
I got a few different tops that would work with these shorts. I just thought because I will probably wear them like all the time, I wanted like different tops so I can sort of mix it up a bit. What do you think? I love this top. It's so soft. It's like a really thin material. It ties a little bow just at the back here. But I guess you could sort of customise it a bit. These literally, it always just looks like a normal t-shirt because these literally don't stay like. Let me know what you guys think. So next up is this super cute little bodysuit. This is from Boohoo. They also had exactly the same one on Misguided, but it was like 10 pounds more expensive. I don't know why it was exactly the same. This is one of the outfits that I'm gonna wear my perky pairs with. Basically, you would hoik up to where you want it to sit and then sort of stick it across. So because obviously it's black, hopefully it will hide underneath. And then if it does poke out a little bit, it won't matter too much. Um, but like I say, I'm just gonna see when I get there and see what happens. You know, that is so much better. <laughs> so yeah, whatever. I really thought this was cute. So that it's backless, um, you've just got the sort of a few straps. I thought that was super cute. Um, obviously wear it with denim shorts, I could wear it with these shorts. And I know Libby that I'm going on holiday with, shout out Liv, got this exact one in white. So me and Libby are gonna be matching. Don't know if we're gonna wear it on the same night, but I just think it's so nice and I could wear this as well when I get home under like a blouse and um, just so I've got a little bit of sort of it's like that whole underwear is outerwear trend um, but yeah just need a bit of a bit of a lift and we'll be all good <laughs> next I've got these shorts these are from misguided these I got in a 14 I like them to be a little bit baggier I hate it when they're really tight sort of under the bum there so these I ordered a 14 and a 16 actually the 14 fit better than I thought they would I don't normally go for light colored jeans I would normally go for sort of darker denim but I just really love these. I love the distressed detailing. Um, they're sort of a bit distressed here as well. From the back, they're not too tight. They've got plenty of room. I just love them. And like I said, I would never go for like a light denim, but they fit really well. Libby has also bought these. <laughs> so yeah, we can just be matching in our bodysuit and our shorts. I am so obsessed. It's literally the brightest neon green I've ever seen. I just love the fact that it's sort of satin. Um, it's a little small here. Got runners on the straps as well, so you can tighten them. Like I said, it is a bodysuit. It's from Pretty Little Thing. I also found it on Boohoo, exactly the same, but it was 15 pounds, whereas this one I paid 22. So obviously, I was a little bit annoyed. So I ordered it on Boohoo as well. It came shite quality. It was so bad. There was stitches coming off on like everywhere. This bit here wasn't even attached. It was all like puckered along here. <sighs> yeah, it wasn't good. So I've literally just kept this Pretty Little Thing one. I don't know if they were made in the same factory or what, but it just was not. I don't know if it was a one-off, it just was not the good quality. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this. I just think, especially because I've got a good colour as well, it just makes me look so much more tanned. It is stretchy, sort of stretchy. <laughs> but yeah, this is the back of it, so it does stretch along the back. The cups, like I say, are not massive. This is the large. I first ordered a medium and it was so small, I couldn't even fit a leg in it. The large, it just about fits, um, but yeah, it's just a little bit small here, but to be honest, I'm I'm not really that fast. <laughs> I just love it too much. I'll just have to get Libby on nipple watch or something. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it looked super cute with these shorts. Love it. So this is just a really basic outfit. This is a misguided top, um, little roll sleeves. Really lovely quality actually, it's quite thick and I wasn't really expecting that. I know I've got some off Pretty Little Thing before that were quite thin, slinky material wise. This is quite thick. I might possibly do it up in a knot. These shorts I got from Pretty Little Thing last year. These are actually a size 16 but this. <laughs> They're still quite small. I mean, they, they fit me last year. They're quite high rise on the bum. I don't mind that when I'm on holiday, but I could not wear these at home at all. They'd just be far too revealing. Literally the most annoying thing about jewelry boxes is that everything gets stuck. I did order some necklaces. This was from Boohoo. It's actually a plus size. I don't even, I didn't even know that was a thing. Like, I didn't know you could order plus size necklaces, but I guess it makes sense. But I ordered this before it made sense to me, so it might be a little bit long, but I quite like the length of it. Oh my god, if I could literally get it undone. So yeah, you've got a couple of different um, little, I don't know what you call them, chains, chains. A couple of different little chains on it. Yeah, just in case I want to jazz it up like. Okay, so this play suit is 
one of the places that I got from Shein. I love it, I think it's so pretty. You'll have to excuse these. Um, I've not got the best bra on for this. I think this would be another one for the perky pairs. This is a real bra, so I'm not falling out of it, so I'm really sorry. Yeah, I just love this play suit. I just think it's super cute. Um, again, it's a frilly one, so you can sort of float around in it. It's got floaty sleeves. I think this is probably a little bit too dressy up for where we're going on holiday, but I'm just gonna take it anyway, because I might wear it if we're just going out for dinner. Not so much if we're going out on the strip because I don't want to ruin it. I think this would be really good for day drinks at home. It's sort of that crepey material, quite thin, like it doesn't get too hot. I think this will be a really nice one for summer nights. I think I wear this quite a lot to be fair. Bit of jewellery with it. I just I just think it's super cute. This tie that comes with it as well is detachable, like it's not attached to the play suit at all. So yeah, you can take that off, you can put your own belt with it. Obviously I will have a bum bag on when I'm on holiday, so I probably won't wear it with that. But yeah, I just thought it was really pretty. Like I said guys, don't be scared of Shein. I think so long as you read the reviews and check the size guides of everything, honestly, it'll be fine. I've never had a problem until these bikinis, but that was my own fault because I knew that a large would be a little bit too small. This was an extra large, I believe. So yeah, quality is pretty good. Like you would get this quality sort of from New Look. I've not found any sort of loose stitching or anything. It's really good length in the body actually because sometimes the play suits, especially because they're made for Asian sizing, they can be quite short in the body but this is perfect. Okay so this is another play suit that I got from Shein. Really really simple, really cash. I think I probably wear this for like in the daytime. Um, I've worn this at home as well. The only trouble is it's not as long in the body or I don't know, I don't know if I'm, I don't know, but sometimes you do get a bit of a hammer too. <laughs> so you just sort of have to shift it around. Really nice um, material, again, quite thick, um, but not too thick. It's gonna be nice and cool in the summer. I've got this really cute tie around it. I got this in an extra large as well. I think I possibly could have got a large because there is quite a lot of extra material, but then because of my tummy, I think it might have been then a bit too tight sort of across the middle. But yeah, I love this just for chilling in, walking to and from the beach and things. I think I'll get a lot of wear out this one this summer. Also realised I forgot to show you guys this top. This is Pretty Little Thing. They do this in quite a few colours. I decided on the white one because I don't really have anything white, I don't really wear white, but I thought it would just sort of make my tan look a little bit deeper. I had to get a little Primark t-shirt bra to go underneath this because I didn't have any that you couldn't see through it. Yeah, I quite like it. I think, I just think it's really cute. Really nice at the back because it's a bit longer line um, and I like the fact that it does sort of bunch up into this little knot so it comes and you just tie it as, as you want to really. These little straps are really cute, they're really stretchy, elasticated, so I guess this sort of thing fits any size. I got this in a 12, I did try it in a 14 but it was a little bit too big, however I think because of like back fat issue, I think I probably could have got away with a 14, I think it would have been okay. Um, but I just prefer the way this one looked at the front in the 12. They did this in like loads of like summery pastel colours. They had, um, there was a yellow, there was a purple, a pink, I think there was an orange. I just really fancied the white, so. Okay, so, really on to swimwear now. Basically, I've been out today, um, we've had a lot of buffet food, so I feel like I'm gonna be a bit bloated, so this probably wasn't the best time to go and try on all my swimwear, so just, oh, I don't even care. <laughs> okay, so most of you who follow my Instagram will know that I have been obsessing over this little bikini. This is from Pretty Little Thing, obviously in the lime green colour. This is the triangle mix and match bikini top um, with adjustable straps. And then these are the V front Brazilian knickers. They are slightly cheeky at the back, um, but they come up nice and high at the top. There's none of this Kylie Jenner stuff going on. Because of my love handles, I feel like these thicker bottoms keep all that tucked in. It's nice and high on the belly as well, so I don't feel like I'm too exposed, but I am just obsessed with the colour. I just, I think, I think a triangle top is more flattering on me. Um, I get the tops in a 16 so that they cover a bit more, unlike that Shein one. Um, the bottoms I got in a 14. I hate when they're too tight and they sort of dig in and then give you these horrible muffin tops. So yeah, I just think this is super cute. So this bikini, same again, same as the green one, pretty little thing, mix and match. The top I had to get in a 14, um, they didn't have any 16 so it is slightly smaller in the cup. Just gotta do a lot of sort of 
working out with that. Again, 14 in the bottoms. Um, these are the V Front Brazilian bottoms. Keep your tucked in. Um, I just really like the colour of these. I wish it was slightly more neon on the internet. They did look slightly more neon um, than they actually are, but I quite like them. Okay, so this is um, a bikini I got last year from Shein, this one I mentioned earlier. I got this one in an extra large, which fits perfectly, unlike those other ones I got today. Um, this one I found was better because the bikini top in these cups, they sort of, the cups like carry on around the side, so I don't feel like I'm falling out of the side like with a normal triangle bikini. Everything's really good quality, the bottoms are like double lined, um, again slightly cheeky. So the back on this top is super pretty, um, it comes together in sort of like a cross um, and then it's just tied at the back. And again, bottoms come a bit more high rise, tuck everything in, um, yeah, I just think it's just a nice bikini and again, really bright, loving a really neon piece this holiday. I wore this one last holiday quite a few times, I've got loads of questions about it. Um, it is still on the Shein website now, so you can actually still order it, they do it in so many different colours. Um, yeah, I was just obsessed with this last year and I think I just will be again. So last up is this swimsuit, this is again from Pretty Little Thing, um, I just am obsessed with this. It's not like anything I've ever had before, um, they had this in so many different colours, I think they also did it in like a bright yellow leopard, which I think we saw quite a lot last year, there was quite a lot of girls with the the multi-way um, leopard swimsuit. Um, I really like this. I think it's just really flattering. The bottom bit's got quite a lot of coverage, just comes to my belly button. The back is quite nice, it's this scoop back detail. Um, not too cheeky on the bum, but you could make it more cheeky if you wanted to. Um, the crossover straps, they actually come from the top, so you can actually tighten this sort of as much as you want to, and then wrap it around. I've just tied it at the front in a little bow. Not the best for tan lines, but I just, I really like it. I just think it's really cute. I normally don't get on with these scoop back ones because I'm so short in the body, the straps tend to sort of fall off. Um, I have had a few like that and I wasn't too keen, but I just, I just think this is super pretty. I really like the colour of it. Um, again, really nice quality. There is a cat around my feet. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just, I, I really like this one. I really wanted the white snake print version of this, but they didn't have it in my size, which I was really gutted about, because, like I say, like, I just love an animal print. I love in white at the minute because it makes me look more tanned. Um, yeah, I just, I just am looking for this one at the minute. So that is everything in my haul. I still have one more parcel to come. I've just ordered a last minute bikini, which I did not need, <laughs> but, mind <laughs> so yeah i hope you enjoyed this haul i hopefully will get this up before i go um i've literally got so much on this week i'm so busy with clients i'm so busy at the salon that i work at um i finished uni so luckily i don't have any uni work on um but i also have some hair and some hair dye arriving tomorrow so i'm going to hopefully make a little wig hopefully going to film that i did do a video of me making a wig didn't go very well. The actual wig was easy, like the sewing was easy to do, but I did not get the measurements right for my head. Yeah, it, I gave up with it. Basically, I've not looked at the wig since. I've done it twice now, and it just was not going well. So yeah, I've got another lot of hair coming tomorrow and some different dye. I'm gonna keep that a surprise, um, and hopefully I can get that made and trimmed and everything ready before I go for my holiday. Um, so yeah, that'll be a job for this week. I also forgot to say I dyed this wig. Um, this is my blonde wig. I actually was supposed to just tone the roots with this colour. Ended up deciding to do the whole thing. Um, yeah. And I just really like it. Like, I feel like, I feel like it's much more natural colour. Um, and I, I've, I've missed having brown hair, I really do like it. It definitely needs a deep conditioning mask because it's like straw at the minute, but yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment and let me know if you've got any suggestions for any more videos, but I will catch you in the next one. Bye.